The best player in our team rating-wise is out injured and our best midfielder has just left the club. We still top the table though. Hi folks, welcome to part 6 of our Road to Glory save with Old Sobri here on Football Manager 24. I'm Russ Cohen, today we have two league games for you. The first one is away to Chalford and then we have Dursley Town visiting our ground. So since you guys were last with us... It's largely been wins with two dropped uh, two, two games where we've dropped points. We lost to Brockworth Albion 3-1 and then we drew 1-1 with Treadworth Tigers. As I said in the intro, we are top of the table. So if we have a look at that here, two points clear of Brockworth Albion with a better goal difference. So I'm, I'm, come the end of the season, we should stay top of the table there. Transfers then. So we've had a few players join us in the form of Josh Clackstone. He can play left back and right back. So I'm quite happy to have this lad in through the door. Shaquille Hippolyte Patrick has joined us. He plays left and right. So winger options for us up there. But we have lost a couple of players. So Harry Thorpe's gone to Bedfont Sports. Aaron Knight finally left us. He's gone to Corinthians. Mark Childs is gone to Robertsbridge United. And then Benjamin Hill, our best midfielder. Probably the best player that we did have in the team as well. He's gone to CK Andover. So the team is looking pretty light now. And as I said, Holness is injured. Best player this season by a country mile. He's on a 7.97 rating with 6 goals, 10 assists in 11 games. So absolutely fantastic. We just need to get him back on the pitch. He's now our vice captain with Benjamin Hill leaving. Reed's gone on to captain's position. Um, 7 days, 2 weeks, should be back. And then he can get back firing for us. So let's jump in then to the Chalford game. The team we're putting out there for this match is Browning goal, a back four of Clackworth, a Clackstone, Mackenzie, Wallace and Titchmarsh, Chacky and Hickson in the centre of midfield, Hippolyte Patrick making his debut on the left hand side, Brownhill, Carvalho supporting Reed up front. Reed's been in and about the goals, should have looked at it then before we actually clicked over to that, but yeah, he's scoring lots of goals. Brown Hill got himself a hat trick in one game as well, so there is a lot of goals in this team, a lot of creativity too. We can definitely definitely do things, although Holness isn't in the side with that injury. We can still get the goals, we still get the assists, and that's what I'm hoping is going to happen in this match. We've opened it up with a shot. It's a pretty poor shot, if I'm totally honest. We only registered at 0.4 xG. But as the game has progressed on now, our xG is going up. We are getting the shots away. We just need to put them in the back of the net now. When's the opening coming? We've not had a highlight as of yet. Six shots, three on target, four corners to us. We're usually quite dangerous in corners. Our defenders getting on the ball, scoring goals from them. And this is the first highlight is us throwing left hand side. Brown Hill collects the ball. Got no options at the moment. Goes in Hicks, only feeds it forward to Carvalho. Reed with the shots, and it's just wide. Shot from range. Had the right to, to have the shot. Just didn't have the conviction, didn't have the range, didn't have the uh, accuracy to put it into the back of the net. And a, a corner's just been cleared. Chacky with the ball. As a shot, hits the post. Collects the ball. Dispossessed, though. Another good effort from the old sods. We're, we're probing. We are going to get that goal. It's going to come eventually. Always does in these games. There was a game where we were 1-0 up. And then nothing really happens until the 70, I think it was like the 71st minute where... We had a goal ruled out. It's a poor corner that. Missed absolutely everybody. Chucky's got the ball. Puts it into the centre. Hickson back into Carvalho. Oh, I can't curl it in. Yeah, we had a goal ruled out. And then after that, Brownhill got his hat trick. So we're definitely a team that can perform better in the second half, I guess. I mean, the first game of the season, we, were, we finished it inside 15 minutes, didn't we? We were absolutely dominant in that game. And it have largely been dominant in games too. That's a wasted opportunity pushing that ball forward. We need to find our players, not put it in where the goalkeeper can easily get it. Although we've managed to get this back. Reed, Hippolyte, Patrick, Chacky with the ball. Someone get in the box. Reed's there now with a header and it's over the bar. But had he been that little bit more forward, put a, could have got the cross in earlier and uh yeah better opportunity for us i'm going to encourage the boys i'm also going to put us on an in, on the attacking mentality because we need to force the goal now reed's looking in well i say injured he's tired um harry white can come on for him 
Everyone else can stay as they are for the time being. We'll make a couple of substitutions around the 75 minute mark. Looking at Brown here, looking at Carvalho, not having the greatest of games. Although we've got the ball here now, Titchmarsh pushes his forward it's to nobody. Brown Hill, this is non league at its best. Brown Hill then into the box. Oh, as a shot, and it's a save from the goalkeeper. Maybe, maybe should have put it into the mix and puts, get someone's head onto it. Hicks and then puts the corner in. Back post. White's underneath it. Not the pair you want to be aiming for. You want to be aiming for the centre backs. Carvalho. Man lurking on the back post. There we go. Hicks and Kank underneath it. Wallace puts it in. Brown Hill back to Wallace. Brown Hill should have scored. Well, I don't know why he gave it to the centre back to have the shot. Then he should have just thumped it forward. Right, who's coming off? I think um, Frankie Jones can come on for Carvalho. Those two can swap there. And then um, we don't really have any other options. Vega, I guess, can come on for McKenzie. There we go. That's all the tricks done. We need to push on now. Push on, get a get a winner here. Get a good, at least one goal. Chaki with the corner. Who's he aiming for? Body's in there. Straight in the centre to Vega. I couldn't get underneath it. Brown Hill with the ball. Edge of the box to Jones. Hipper like Patrick. Oh, it's bobbled down. It's finally gone in. Bit of pinball there for the goal, but Brown Hill puts it into the back of the net. One nil with ten minutes to go. Luck on our side. We rode it. We, I mean, we should be winning. We should be winning by loads. With 24 shots, 7 of those on target. Tipper like Patrick with the ball. Puts it in. White's offside. Hickson. Chaki put it across. He does. Brown Hill with the second. This is what I mean. Late goals from Brown Hill. Goes up to the two fans that are up in the crowd. And he just, you know, gives them the fist. Lovely stuff. Four minutes of time added on. I, don't, I mean, nothing's going to happen now, is it? We, we do pick up the three points. And it's Brown Hill that has saved us. Two goals inside three minutes. Well done, lads. Well done. That keeps us at the top of the table. I don't. I didn't check how Brock were for getting on. We will check that once it starts going through the process. And this, as I said in a, in a previous episode... As it's a, it's a big save file because of how many leagues are loaded up into it at level 13. I think as we get to level 12, I'm probably going to get with level 11, sorry. I'll probably close level 13 off just to try and speed the game up that little bit more. And we'll, we'll probably do that as we progress through. But yeah, I'm going to check the table once this starts processing. There's your table then. We are now four points clear of Brockworth. Brockworth, they drew with Leonard Stanley. So, yeah, we edge further away from them. And if we can beat Dursley Town and Brockworth drop more points, then the league is pretty much ours. We'll see you for the Bro uh, not the Brockworth game. Who are we playing? We're playing Dursley Town. We'll see you for the Dursley Town game. The team then for the Dursley game is Browning goal. Back four, Claxstone, Vega, Wallace and Titchmarsh. Chaki and Brownhill in the centre of midfield. Hippolyte Patrick, Hickson, Bridgman making his debut for us on the right. And Reed up front. Bridgman... I think he's going to be the one that gets... If we won't get Holness out of the team because Holness plays on the left-hand side, but definitely gets Carvalho out of this team. And maybe our Brazilian is going to leave us because he's not going to get the game time that he wants. Definitely not good enough to play in the attacking midfield position. And with Hippolyte Patrick and Holness on that left-hand side, he's not going to get in there. So he is, he is the right-hand side reserve at the moment. Might not like that he's not going to get the game time, but what can I do? We need to improve the side. Bridgman was a player that is definitely going to improve us. His star rating is a lot better than Denilson's is anyway. So, yeah, he's in. Denilson's out. And we've got a free kick to defend there that hits the top of the crossbar. I mean, Brown made a bit of a meal of it with that little dive there. But we started this game off quite slowly. Four shots of Dursley. None to us so far. We're at home, so we should be better than what we are there we've had two shots now one of those on target and got a better xg so we need to capitalize on it now throw into us then clackstone into chaki goes back to the throw and taker puts it into the box goalkeeper punches it out and he shouldn't have done that he should have collected because chaki has just scored one nil against runner play i'd say so although we were getting ourselves back into it we've definitely yeah rocked a few things there goalkeepers clattered one of our players 
Looks like he's clattered Vega. We got a penalty. Are we going to be 2-0 up? Hickson steps up, takes it. And he does, puts it into the top corner. The goalkeeper went the right way. Seventh goal of the season then for Hickson. 2-0 to the old sods. And uh, is it game over? I'm not I'm not going to call it just yet. It's 2-0. If we go 3-0 up, then yeah, it will be game over. But we've done... Yeah, we knocked, the, we knocked the wind out of them. They were the better team to start with. We've knocked the wind out of them now. People like Patrick charged at this ball right hand side of the pitch. Completely out of position. He's left hand sided in this game. He's gone back into Titchmarsh. It goes to Bridgman. Brown Hill into Wallace. We've got this right hand side now. Hickson or Hickinson into Reed. Oh, good save from the keeper. Very good save from the goalkeeper. Maybe should have drilled it along the floor. Would have gone in then, but... I mean, the decisions making at this level is it's questionable, isn't it? Bridgman puts it across, hits the defender, and it has been cleared. Where's our substitutions then? Bridgman's not having the best of games. Maybe we change his role in the second half, keep him on the pitch. Reed's having a bad game, so I think Reed's going to be the one that does come off. We'll bring Harry White on. Uh, I mean, I suppose Hickson scored the goal, so you don't really want to take him off. What else can you do, Sunshine? Inverted winger. Reasonable on the left foot. Inside foot. Let's put you as an inside forward a minute. Inside forward. No, I don't want you on attack. I want you on support. Inside forward on support. Let's see if we can get a tune out of him with that instruction. As the game, we've got a highlight straight from the kickoff for Dursley Town at the moment. Easily walking for us. Titchmaster there, boots it forward. Bridgman's going to get onto it. He does. Cuts it back into Brownhill. Brownhill to Chucky. Oh, and he, he, he had a deaf little, deaf little chip then trying to get it in. When he probably should have gone for power. We'd have been 3-0 three, uh, three up if he'd have scored it. But I mean, it's just little decisions making, like I said. Hickinson then, corner. Cleared. Hip like Patrick picks up the ball. Back into Hickinson. Oh, what a goal that was. What a lovely goal that was. Just curls it past the goalkeeper's outstretched arm into the back of the net. 3-0 now. Game over. I mean, I suppose game over. Dursley can always come back into it, can't they? Titchmarsh puts his one into the centre, trying to find Hip like Patrick. Their goalkeeper likes to likes to punch the ball. His tendency to punching rate, he must be up 20. Because every ball that comes in, he is punching out. Bridgman's only got worse in this game. So I think he's going to be the man that comes off. Carvalho's going to come on for him. Make that substitution there. Carvalho, if he can have an impact on this game, he will yeah, nail down that position for himself. Because that's kind of what he wants to do. Our other substitution will be at the back just to... Keep players fresh. Probably going to be. We'll, we'll, we'll make the substitution now. Titchmarsh can come off and uh, Cullen can come on. He'll swap with Claxstone just for the remaining five minutes of this match. Strikers have been not there today. It's all been from the midfield and from the shadow striker. But it's another three points for the old sods. Lovely, lovely stuff. Man of the match goes to Hickinson, as expected. Uh, well done, lads. Where? How did Brockworth get on? That's what we need to check now. Again, the processing. We'll come back for that once it pops up. So, Brockworth have dropped more points. They lost 4 2 to Long Evens reserves. So, we're now 7 points clear of them with uh, 17 games to go. Yeah, it's still a long way. Still a long way. We're only in November at the moment, but we're creating a little gap for ourselves. Bridgman made a debut, wasn't the best. Hickson can have a little bit of praise for his two goals. Hickinson, sorry, not Hickson. Right, schedule. I mean, we're running away with it, aren't we? I think we'll come back for... We'll come back for Shaftesbury Crusade and Tedworth Tigers. I mean, Shaftesbury Crusade were the team that come out of us, and I'd like to see how we fare up against them at the moment. And then I think the league's going to be wrapped up pretty, pretty nicely. Although we do have Brockworth. Do we come back for Brockworth? We'll do Brockworth and Shaftesbury, because then if we beat Brockworth, then we're going to win the league, aren't we? So that's what we're going to do. Change your plan, guys. 
Brock with Albion, and then we'll skip one and go into the Shaftesbury game. We'll find out where things are then, if we're going to win the league, which I'm pretty sure we are. So if you guys have enjoyed that, big thumbs up on the video for me. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. And as always, folks, thank you very much for watching.